Hello ladies, in marriage or in relationships, we are looking for peace, comfort, companionship, love, among other things. In the bid to do this, please, there are things you have to let go and others you shouldn't. There are three big things that you should never allow or cut twice in your relationship. If you let them be, then please forever hold your peace because you have to them. Tolerate them to the end of your relationship. What are they? Number one, careless speech or careless utterances for that matter. From the person that you dearly love, you treasure. My dear sister, don't entertain careless utterances towards you. First and foremost, it wears down your self-esteem and therefore your confidence. You'll feel much less your real worth. Oh yes, some of them might have it as a habit. It should have ended just before he got you. If he doesn't know that, then make him understand it just with one utterance. Let him understand that it hurts you, you feel so bad about it, and therefore it should not occur a second time. If this relationship is to see longevity. You know, these hurtful utterances. To some people who are used to this kind of life, I mean they've heard it over and over, and therefore they seem to be immune to such utterances. They might listen to it and just shrug it off. No! Don't allow that. If you're a person who knows the difference between modest speech and hurtful speech, please don't accept it because you know the consequences. For instance, you come home very excited because you've achieved something, maybe a promotion at work, maybe you've just passed a determining examination, and then your spouse says, hmm. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't have gotten all that. Does that sound any nice to you? As for me, it pricks me directly into my soul. Because I know, much as you think, you could have contributed. Without me and my effort, this achievement wouldn't have been there, of course. Therefore, give credit where it's due. Give credit where it's due. This utterance is not called for. You are supposed to congratulate me. In fact, to throw me a party. To thank me and to congratulate me for my achievement. That kind of utterance should not occur a second time. We are supposed to build each other's morale, among other things. Therefore, by giving me such an utterance, are you really helping me in any way? Please, such utterance should not occur twice in your relationship. Otherwise, you'll be nursing frustration every now and then, running and sulking in dark corners, crying out your heart while he's not even bothered. Don't allow that. Put that man in his place. Let him understand that such utterances are not welcome and you will never entertain them. Secondly, please sister, don't allow to do all the house chores on your own. You are always the one cooking, you're cleaning, you're doing the laundry, you're cleaning and sweeping and dusting and doing every other thing. And yet you also have a corporate job to attend to. Whereas the guy comes from wherever he's coming from, just eats and sleeps off. Or even goes for fresh air outside. I mean, he goes for social gatherings outside. You are doing everything solo. Don't accept that. Even if you have all the energy in the earth, leave some cause for him and remind him when he comes back, he has some cause to do. That you should start right from the beginning of your relationship. If you let it be, then please forever hold your peace because it's not going to change. Let him know that even if he is a CEO of some company, an international organization somewhere, which you can also be or might even be, that kind of honorable position ends there. When he comes home, he's a dad, he's a husband. 
and should act as one. The only reason he's not going to do the dishes or clean the house is because his little babies have grown up and therefore can do the same. So what he should be doing is just asking them all, the dishes seem not to be washed. Oh, your room doesn't seem to be clean. Oh, what did you do today? Oh, how, how is this and that and that? Just talk to them and guide them on what to do. That is what you are expected to do. Short of that, you have to participate as a dad in the home. Just like I also participate as a mom in the home. Gone are the days when cores were assigned or delegated according to gender. Any core, any gender, so is the error. And the earlier you all recognize that, the better. Life will be easy for the both of you and the home will flow smoothly. The third point is to do with your finances. There should not be any easy or non-consented access to your finances. Why should it be? If he needs anything, financial accountability or anything from you, then it should be with your consent, right? A friend of mine tells me that her husband began using her credit card, but whenever he would use it, he would say, sweetie, oh, I just used $500, hope it's not a big deal. And she's like, okay, it's okay, it's okay, no problem. He did it the first time. Since she said no problem, okay, that was now like a free get pass. He did it a second time and a third time until it pinched her into the skin. So one day he did it and he did it without consent. He didn't even tell her he, he used it. So it was a big lump sum of money and she was like, oh, could it be a scam? My husband has never used all this big amount of money from my card. He should have told me. He always tells me. This time, he did not tell her. So, she's like, no, 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 no. This can't be my husband. She even blocked her credit card. So when she comes home, she asked him, I notice a scam in my card. Oh, could you have used it? He's like, Oh yeah, sweetheart, I used it. I'm sorry I didn't inform you, but I used it. What? How could you use all this? I'm now in negatives in my credit card. You shouldn't have done that without my consent. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's become a story. So what she did, she changed her credit card. But you know, it doesn't take them too long to figure out all that is necessary to open it up. So after a few weeks, he again used it she wasn't any happy with it but it's because she let it happen the first time and she condoned it she let it happen even the second time so now she's stuck with a thief in the house oh yes a person who takes something that doesn't belong to him is obviously a thief she's stuck with a thief in the house we wouldn't want to condone this kind of behavior right under our noses so please when it happens the first time don't let it happen a second time or else you're going to suffer with this man we are going to suffer with this kind of behavior for the rest of your life don't allow that okay thank you very much for listening to me right here again is aunt isla i meet you in my next one